Welcome to the Gold Bowl Podcast. We are so honored and humbled that you joined us today. Today we're going to discuss and tell you why King Jesus put you strategically where you're at in time and space on this earth. It may seem like you're at the end of the earth, but nonetheless, there is a reason he has you in your job, where you live, what school you attend, or basically wherever you're at on this earth. Let's go bold. I'm Pastor Scott Patton. Thank you all for joining us today for the Gold Bowl podcast. Please consider hitting the like, subscribe, and share buttons. We discuss in 10 minutes or less how Jesus Christ transforms lives. And when you go bold through the power of the Holy Spirit and make disciples, you will not only transform your life, but all the others around you. I got a question for you. Do you ever wonder why God puts you in this particular place in your life? And let me be very clear. God has a strategic purpose for where you live, work, and play. The only reason we are put on this earth is to glorify God, period. When we understand this basic premise, it makes it easier to understand why particular things happen in our lives. Many times we, we all think about is us. We think of this all about us when it's actually all about Him. But we have to start in this verse in Romans 8.28. And we know that all things work for the good for those who love God and are called according to his purpose. You know, guys, when we decode Romans 8, 28, I want you to look at three words. In all things. Paul didn't say some things. He didn't say a few things. He said all things. This can be as small as a time of day that you take out your trash to a major career change or moving to another city or another community or changing your home. Remember, we are created to glorify Him and it's executing His global purpose, not ours. As an old soldier, I got to travel around the world several times. I had the honor of getting to shoot artillery off five different continents. I saw some really weird looking goats on Haifa Street, Baghdad one day. And I know in my own life, I've often wondered how in the world did I end up in Indiahoma, Oklahoma. Indiahoma actually has a sign now on the interstate. It's pretty cool. But it used to just say reduce speed. So I thought this was reduce speed, Oklahoma. There are a number of towns in Oklahoma called reduce speed, Oklahoma. Sometimes I like to refer to Indiahoma as deep woods off uh, 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 Oklahoma. And how many people have the pleasure of spraying uh, yourself with deep woods off insect spray when you have to go into town? In actuality, Indiahoma is a wonderful little community that has blessed me and my family more than I could ever imagine. But here's the deal. God has strategically placed my wife Tammy and I to glorify Him and execute his global purpose right here in Indiana. I'm reminded in Acts chapter 1 verse 8, but you will receive the power of the Holy Spirit comes on you and you will be my witness in Jerusalem and Judea and Samaria and to the ends of the earth. Guys, when we decode uh, Acts chapter 1 verse 8, we decode this verse, we have to start with Jesus telling his disciples with the power of the Holy Spirit. Similar to, the, to, to our Go Bold verse, which is Matthew 28, 19, these are Jesus' words right before he ascends into heaven. Jesus is telling them, I am leaving you, but I don't want you to worry. You will receive my power, which is the Holy Spirit. Understand when you re receive and accept Christ as your Lord and Savior, the first gift he gives you is this awesome power of the Holy Spirit. Guys, that's great news. It's, it's Christianity absolutely exploded after this a cosmic event that happened to his disciples. In fact, Peter preached a service where there were 3,000 people that were saved and came to Christ. And one sermon. Second thing is, you will be my witness. This means that you are a witness to this awesome power that I just explained. Jesus has given you when you accept him as Lord and Savior of your life. You witness that awesome uh, transformative power in your own life. 
Again, we are glorifying him, executing his purpose, and let Jesus show up and show off in your life. Finally, because you have this awesome power of the Holy Spirit and you are a witness to this awesome power, now Jesus will strategically place you where you're at to be his witness to this awesome power to glorify him, not us. Notice how Jesus said in Jerusalem, Judea, Samaria, and to the ends of the earth. When the disciples heard this message, they were right outside in Jerusalem. And I can imagine that they truly believed that Jerusalem was the center of the world in their minds. I know without a doubt they thought if they had to think about a place like Indiahoma, Oklahoma, they probably indeed thought that Indiahoma would have been the end of the earth. Truth is, to God, Indiahoma is just as important to him as Jerusalem. And I want you guys to remember that wherever you're at. I thank God to be the, for the privilege to be a pastor for the bride of Christ. And yes, his bride is his church, and it resides right here in Indiahoma, Oklahoma. Yes, I'm going to get dirty, and there are going to be good days, and there are going to be bad days. But I'm blessed to be trusted with his sheep at the ends of the earth. He wants us to expand his kingdom right where we're at. Remember, regardless of where you live, work, or play, Jesus wants you to be his witness wherever you're at. And today, that's how we go bold. Thank you for joining us. And remember, hit the like, subscribe, and share. God bless and go bold.